video this time it's 1E of 2008 well I hope you like the previous MAT video so far because this time we're going to be dealing with, with a gnarly public appeal you see this took me a full minute to write out and the question asked me to find the highest degree of the polynomial. So let us, since we are so tired right now and have no time to do anything, let's invent a shortcut called degree arithmetic. So if let's invent the following axioms. If A is greater than B, then A plus B equals to A. Strange, huh? So that means it follows that A less than B, and A plus B equals to B. So it's basically some kind of comparator in which the numbers are larger or smaller. A plus B equals to A, since they're both equal. Now, we can invent multiplication by, say, by stating that... See ya? So if you want to multiply the whole thing, actually we won't involve any multiplication here, but if you want to, you can put A, B, the degrees, multiply together equals to A plus B in normal arithmetic. Do you understand? Well, that makes a lot more sense when you think about it. And if you take a degree to the power of another degree, A, B equals to A, B in normal arithmetic. So frequently just kind of a step-down version of normal arithmetic. Now let's convert the whole thing into a degree arithmetic summation. Now since this is a 6 and this is a power of 3, let's just write down the highest degrees. So bracket, bracket, 6 times 3 plus 8 times 4 to the power of 5 plus 5 times 5 plus times 4. This times is normal arithmetic and this plus is degree arithmetic plus. Now 6. This is this is a taxing public number to write down. Now basically you have to multiply, you have to compare this. So that means you have 32 times 5 plus, which is bigger, 7 times 4, 28 times 6. Cute. Again, this is degree arithmetic plus. So that means you have to do. So this is 160, this is 168. So it's 168 times 3 equals to. Wait for this one. 504. X to the power of 504. Wow! And now, with that in mind, you're feeling a bit strange here. Now, let's calculate the degree of this, I mean the highest term of this polynomial. Since we've already seen that this has the highest term, so we can say the highest term of this big one is 2 to the power of 3 is 8, 3 to the power of 4, 81. Then just write the x to the power of 18, x to the power of 32. Then 3x to the power of 5 to the power of 5 will be 243x to the power of 25. And x to the 6 is x to the power of 28. So you have 81x to the power of 32. So you have 81 to the power of 5 equals to 3 to the power of 20, which I won't bother writing it down, but you can see the great big number in the description. So you see x to the power of 28. So this is going to be our benchmark. Feeling a bit stressed now? Okay. So 81 to the power of 5, we already see it. Now x to the power of 28 to the power of 6 is 1. And since we already see it, it's 168 times 3. And since 1, the degree of this big one, is greater than 3 to the power of 20, we can safely say that this gnarly polynomial equals to x to the power of 504 plus yada yada.
And you would like, as an exercise, you can figure out the constant term as well, but we won't do that here. Wait, actually, we will. So, we have 7 cubed plus 12 4 to the power of 5. Then we just put, since there are no constant terms here, plus 6 to the power of 4, 6 to the power of 4, plus 6 to the power of 24. Cube, a link to this huge number, which is the constant term, can be found in the description. So there you have it. This Dali polynomial, we found the first term, we found the last term, and we found the degree of the first term. And thank you, and see you in later MAT videos.